Hello, my loves, and welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube. I almost said <laughs> I almost said Bahati Life Apothecary, and it's probably because the apothecary is about to reopen. In fact, I actually have this big old jar here that I brought with me from my altar space of herbs seeping, sitting, absorbing all of the nutrients, the energies in the oil. This is my Hi John the Conqueror oil. Super powerful, super potent. I'm going to be adding that to the apothecary when I reopen. The date is looking like November 11th of 2023 and everything will be in minimal, minimal amounts. So go ahead and set your calendars for that. Sacred Circle Tarot School will also be resuming in a different way that's going to show up as a master class there's so much content i didn't even realize how much valuable content is sitting there it's like a gold mine really of just diving super deep into tarot esoteric symbolism astrology and i want to eventually add on to the school even deeper with astrology classes so do make sure that you are keeping your eyes open for those really powerful important updates because it is not like anything it really is nothing it's not like anything on the internet today with that being said my loves we do have a pick a card reading that i am beyond excited to dive into for you today. This pick a card reading, the energy is going to be focused on uplifting messages, messages that will, I'm setting the attention that they uplift you, but also what are the things that you can look forward to in the future? I recently did a video upload kind of breaking down the energy astrologically of what's going on in the planets, especially when it comes to talks of war. Those things are very real. And, and by things, I mean that energy is very real. I am not someone who is big on invoking fear or anything like that. It's just, I'm, I'm more of a realist. And these are energies that we're working with. This will help you to understand what we are facing. And not, I believe that if you are aware of the energies, you can make them work for you and not against you. I talk about that all the time on my YouTube channel. You guys know this. I believe that everyone should come from a place of empowerment. And for me, empowerment comes from direct understanding of what it is that you're dealing with. So that don't be don't be fearful don't be alarmed but i just knew and i just felt that i think collectively we could all use some comfort right now especially in a place where oftentimes people when we're facing with when we're faced with difficult circumstances we don't know what to do and in those times sometimes the best thing and the only thing and the most powerful thing to do is to pray to set intention for peace also, we are in eclipse season, so a lot of radical changes are happening left and right. All of that, I'm saying this to say this is why I felt so called this afternoon to give you strength and a message to uplift you, to carry you, and to see you through, and that's the intention. So we have three piles for you to choose from. This will be pile number one, this crystal here. There's no right or wrong way to pick the crystals. Just allow your intuition to speak to you. We also have this crystal here. And for the third message, we have this shell who will has been my constant companion for the last three years. That's message number three. So I will naturally meet you at your timestamp. All right, my loves, if you chose the first message from this crystal, this will be your uplifting message from spirit. I'm actually gonna put it right next to the High John the Conqueror root. This is so jumbo. I have a few of them that were available in my shop. I crushed them into the creation of this oil. I don't know if I explained what High John the Conqueror root oil is for, but it's huge on the accomplishment of your dreams, your goals. It makes you beyond powerful in whatever you set your mind, your intention, your strength towards. 
it makes it so that you are almost impenetrable, that nothing can really take you out. It's very, very protective, very, very potent. It's just, and it's also very grounding. That's one of the reasons why I love to carry this root around with me to anoint it, not only on my petitions, but even on my hands, my crystals, or even a, a bag, like a, um, a juju bag that is that I carry with me in my purse and my bag on my on my person, like on my body. It really helps to give me strength and to protect me, even the work that is that I'm doing. So, all right, let's go ahead and dive in. I usually shuffle tarot. I want. I felt really called to have the tarot cards already pulled. So the first cards to jump out for this pile, as far as uplifting messages, we actually have the hangman here. Is this upside down? I'm still figuring out my setup. We have the hangman here. We have the nine of wands and we have the five of wands. Right away, this is addressing stress, conflict, tension. I have this ring on my finger and I want to share it with you. It's interesting because I felt called to wear it. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm going to do my best to kind of zoom into it just a little bit. But this ring says, I will rise. It's interesting because I haven't worn this ring on my finger for quite some time, but I felt called to put it on for this reading. And I feel like you were the reason why I felt called to put on this uh, put on this ring and to carry that message on my middle finger. The middle finger, believe it or not, I don't know why, but it's kind of focusing. The energy of the middle finger is kind of being drawn here. It actually is a very assertive, dominant finger. I'm sure you can picture that for yourself and imagine that for yourself by the meaning of what it when people flick up their middle finger I don't see it as that's energy that is being directed from you that big F you energy I see this more as your masculine power and your intention and your your does not desire but your ability to to look at competition or conflict or challenge and set the intention of I will rise. So the uplifting message I really feel called to share to you right now is this message of whatever the circumstances, I'm going to come out of this stronger. I will rise up stronger and better because of it. The hangman is a, is a message here that is standing out to me or a card that's standing out to me next. And I feel... I actually want to sit with this for a minute and see what it is that I'm getting from this. Wow. You, I, I, I got a sense that something for you to look forward to is you're going to have inhuman strength. I don't know what what this means for you. It's, it's reminding me, wow. It's reminding me, back in the day, there was this news article, I think that was trending, this older woman or a mother, her child got pinned down by a car. And... This, she was fragile, she was small, or just feminine, you know, very, very feminine, petite, and somehow it was this, it was her motherly instinct kicked in that she was able to lift the car up. She was actually physically able to lift the car. It was, it was deemed impossible, but it was her, it was her desire to, to, to fight through this and to, to save her child that gave her inhumane, inhuman strength in order to pull the car up and to free her child. And she, no one could understand it, but it's this miraculous energy that comes through when we need it, when we need it the most. And I am getting a strong sense that for some of you guys, you're going to be feeling the power of like supernatural power of a force that is entering into your life right now that's going to give you the strength to move past any difficult challenges. Some of you guys might have received some really incredible setbacks it's it's almost like okay i'll say this it, uh, spirit is kind of reminding me to kind of look back on something that i saw earlier today this afternoon there was a girl who had broken her, had gotten her nose broken and she was a student or is a student and it almost seemed like a lot of situ she was kind of expressing how there were some situations that were with her studies and with her work and then all of these things that she's trying to balance and then for her to end up with a broken nose, it felt like all these things were kind of crushing down on her and pushing down on her. She wasn't the 
cause of it. She was a, a by like a, a victim of these of these circumstances. It wasn't like she was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Something just happened and she ended up breaking her nose. I don't want to put her story out there like that. Having said that, I'm almost seeing a similarity between her story and what I'm seeing within the cards that it almost feels like you're a victim of these energies that are kind of pressing down on you or crushing on you or things that you might want to achieve that you want to accomplish, but it feels almost impossible. The impossible is actually going to come, but not in the sense that it sets you to break you down, but there's going to be this surge, this tremendous surge of power. I just actually heard the word initiation. So some of you guys are being niche spiritually initiated along your journey. And you're going to have the, I just heard that you're going to have a sense of real deep clarity on why it had to be this way and why the purpose behind this, why it, it unfolded this way. For some of you guys, you've been kind of battling in your marriage or relationship and there's going to be some type of tr tremendous success or reward, a specific reward. And I see this as you finding the strength in order to gain um, independence. Wow, look at this. The next card to jump out is the card of Lemon Balm, Balance and Stability. I'm hoping that this camera is focusing for you guys, but sometimes it gives me a hard time. It's probably because I give it a hard time. But um, for now, just kind of trust me with this. That this this um, card represents the Lemon Balm. It represents balance and stability. This is what I feel that for me, this is talking about how much you are on the right ground. Like you have firm footing for you to be successful. You may not necessarily feel it right now, but I also would say that you might not necessarily feel this super, super natural strength that's about to come and help you to achieve, accomplish your goals. Are you also one of the reasons why I felt so called to do the Hi, John the Conqueror oil, because this would be very beneficial for you. Unbelievable. Wow, wow, wow. The Divine Feminine card you have here. Wow, goodness. You have the Dakini, the Enlightened Feminine. My gut instinct is wise beyond reason. I trust my intuition to guide me. I also heard that for some of you guys, you are actually at your altar asking for your angels and your guides to lead me or that's what I heard specifically, lead me, show me the way, where, where do I go? And you calling in that energy, especially with the hangman here, is what is att attracting this supernatural surge of power that's going to inspire you, enlighten you, and bring you to a, 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 a help, like, what did I just hear? Like a successful outcome, something that puts you on top. Wow, look guys, you have the next few cards here. You have positivity and money. Now let me read to you what these cards say. They say, if you can find even one thing to be grateful for, it will restore you to the light. Please, dear God, let me always feel gratitude for something, even a tiny thing, in even the hardest situations. For It's interesting because as I was reading that, I actually got the sense that the thing for you to be grateful for right now is the fact that you can actually call on the powers that be that are protective of you to come forward and to lead you. This is something huge to feel grateful for, not only just now in the future, but what is to come for you, because I feel like you're really in a, a place right now of divine enlightenment. Hmm. Someone here in this group actually is asking me to talk to them about relationships or a relationship and I want to tell you that spirit is acknowledging your desire for clarity in a relationship and it's it's almost like they it's not that they want to acknowledge it because they feel like you feel like you're being ignored when it comes to your prayers for a relationship or partnership or union you're not being ignored within this no, 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 no. You're not being ignored. Your prayers and your intentions are not being ignored or they're not being delayed. There's something here that needs to be like broken through. I asked in my I asked in my intuition just now, is this like a curse or a blockage? No. It's it's not you if you've done if I this is a very specific message for someone. If you've done spiritual work to remove or if you did petitions or if you called out, if you prayed for any obstacles that you felt that were creating damage or baggage or slowing you down from meeting your person or having um 
having things work out between you and your person, whether you know this person or whether it's someone that you're attracting, that has already, I just heard that has already been claimed. That means that an angel, a guide, has already claimed that work for you and has already worked worked it through. This is that final, I just heard like the finality of something. Like something is going to finally come to a resolution. Hmm. <laughs> This, there's, wow, this is a very specific message. I, I kind of want to dive into it. I wasn't trying to do an extended today, but I just might. If this, if you chose this pile and you're very focused on like a relationship, having a breakthrough here, I will dive into that in the extended. I, this is, uh, to me, it feels completely unrelated to what is going on here, but spirit wants to talk about it and I'm down for that. We're going to dive into what is going on with that relationship um, but for now, just covering everyone else who chose this pile, I want to focus on that. The fact that money is coming through here, I want to read this card to you. All my finances are now in divine order. Love itself knows my needs and is the source for all. I needn't cling to gain or fear loss. Every need will be met through offering all to the divine. So this is another position here that Spirit is asking you to be grateful for, is that this foundation for you, this spiritual foundation, is where you're going to draw all of your source of abundance. This abundance is going to be found in physical abundance, like financial abundance and security. But I also see this as purpose and the I just heard like the course of events and like how they unfold in your life, what how things are meant to unfold. I also think that for some of you guys, I'm hearing spirit is saying, you know, ask for clarity as far as the divine enlightenment that we are trying to provide for you now. This is going to help you to understand a little better why we're why we're calling you into this place. You can go to your altar and ask for clarity and more strength in your clarity and more strength in your conviction on what it is that you're seeing, what it is that you're feeling. Because some of you guys might actually feel like you don't have a clear understanding of what is being asked of you or where you're called to go right now. This is something that you might not necessarily put on the altar or that you bring to the divine or your angels and your guides is that you bring to them your doubt and your angels and guides are telling you that we can sense your doubt and it's understandable and we're going to help you to under to move past that. So even bring your doubt because your doubt is acting as a restriction for us to be able to come to you and talk to you and tell you that we see through this. And that you shouldn't feel guilt for having doubt in the process and what's going to happen next. It's natural for, for anyone to feel that way. So that is your message here. The, the uplifting message that I feel is is a powerful one, believe it or not. It's, it's that you are actually on very solid, firm foundation when it comes to spiritual like achievement in your life. And for some of us, we will we, we'll question, you know, spiritual achievement is wonderful and good, but like I, you want, you're almost craving it in the physical, like you're craving it in the present. But the thing is, is that this spiritual achievement, this, this um, accomplishment, this connection, this energy is, is going to help you to achieve beyond, beyond the physical, beyond the root you know, it, 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 it pours into all the different things. And I feel like the uplifting message that I'm hearing is to be grateful, like be grateful and have hope and be excited for this energy that you're about to achieve when it comes to clarity and strength in your spiritual conviction and your spiritual path, because it will bless you in every single area of your life. Some of you guys are multitasking a lot of different energies here. Or some of you guys have very big goals for yourself. Or you're trying to figure out your path. And there's something here that just the fact that you are standing on a spiritual foundation sets you apart from the others. Because you will be led, supernaturally led, to opportunities that others may not necessarily be privy to. They may not know because they weren't intuitively guided and led to that. So that's something to really look forward into the future. And I think that when you go to your altar or when you go to your sacred space or you pray or you lay your head down at night and you feel that, you're going to be very much empowered tremendously and tenfold how you're being led, even in the parts of you that have doubt right now or even the parts of you that are like, I'm being restricted, I'm being held back. 
I actually feel like you're being set up for success. Like I, there's nothing here that feels like it's holding you back. If anything, it might be painful and frustrating because you want to go, go, go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and close this off, but I do feel called to shuffle cards in the extended reading link down below for what is going on with this relationship because there's a, um, a connection to a breakthrough within the relationship realms. I'm very interested in hearing that and why that came up because it felt very, it felt very separate from this reading here. Um, so we will look into that. If that's something that you feel called to lean into, it will be there for you. The extended is always linked down below. However, if this is where we say goodbye, thank you for allowing me to share this message. Thank you for bringing your energy here so that I can pick up on it and shuffle and pull for you and those who are like like you have very similar energies to you going through very similar things please do give this video a thumbs up because it, it sends a signal to youtube that my youtube channel is worth listening to and clocking into and um if you are not subscribed please do consider until then i'm sending you guys all of my love and i'll see you in my next one and on that note let's go ahead and move on to the extended or if you're not meeting me in the extended and you're going to move on to pile two this message is then for you. Talk to you guys later. All right, my loves, if you chose this crystal, this is your reading. Let me roll up my sleeves. So I, um, normally I shuffle live, but I pulled the cards prior. I haven't seen them yet. What is the message spirit that you would like to give to this group? What is the message? What is the vibe? And what is the uplifting uplifting message? And what can they look forward to? First card to jump out. We have eight of cups reversed. Let me move this root here. Hi, John the Conqueror is just taking up some of the light space, which is fine. The four of pentacles. Interesting. If you chose this group, you might have also felt called to go with pile number one. Wow, and then you have three of swords here. This is, um, I actually heard the word reconciliation. I don't see this necessarily with the person. I see this with reconciliation with the broken pieces of your heart. If there's something here that's been, that you've been holding on to clearly with four of pentacles, any type of hurt, ache, and suffering. I'm also getting a strong sense that this might be something that you have just not accepted. Like you, and I, I hear a lot of compassion from your angel team where they're, they're, they're saying like you shouldn't have to kind of battle to accept the circumstances because it's not fair what happened to you. This is something that you didn't choose for yourself. It was kind of a, like circumstances. I also feel that if you've been someone who is quick to understand other people's perspectives and to understand where someone is coming from. Your your message right now is like you're you don't you're going to be able to let go of that burden, like that initial desire to kind of see why someone hurt you or why something happened the way that it did to the point where it's almost like you give other people grace and explanation but you don't necessarily I don't want to say stand up for yourself, but you don't it's like you absorb it and you, this is a group here that you cut, you do absorb and you absorb other people's pain. You absorb other people's feelings, their discomfort. You, and it's, it's, you really do love, like you love big, you know what it feels like. This is supposed to be an uplifting message, so I don't want to go too deep into this because it might re make you relive or recount those relationships or those situationships or things. Um, wow. I felt called to make these cards, like move the cards into a space where it, it actually felt like a hug. It felt like a hugging of the inner child. It feels like a supporting and an uplifting of your inner child. And I feel that um, the uplifting message that you need to hear right now is directly from spirit and from your angel guides. And I'm also seeing uh, Mother Mary 
or Mary Magdalena, like there's this comfort, there's a sweet comfort. Softness, softness. I'm also, I just heard the word fortitude where you're, you're uh, someone else, wow. They're saying like they're watching how you absor absorbed some past hurts or past other people's pain. And I am actually getting a really strong sense that an angel guide, whoa, I have chills. An angel guide or a spirit guide is absorbing that pain off of you. Wow. It's like if you were a sponge, they're they're sucking it off of you now. Like they're pulling it off of you. They're taking they're absorbing it. There's someone here else that is absorbing your pain and I'm actually hearing it's feminine energy. It's coming. I'm hearing ringing on my left ear. Wow. Wow, guys, guys. Look, and then I just flip this card, Archangel Root. You have recept receptivity and female essence. I'm also seeing Archangel Raphael coming through big 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 time. Recept re receptivity and female essence. Yeah, there's a feminine energy here, a feminine spirit guide who is coming through and is going to absorb, is absorbing and pulling off of like healing, like a healing balm. For some of you guys, if you've been feeling um, depression, this is going to be relief for you. They're, they're helping you to not carry on this burden. Um, for others... This is a beautiful message right now of comfort. You're, the uplifting message right now is I'm hearing like you're safe. For, I'm also seeing someone going for long walks in the woods or spending time with their divine. Um, I, there's this recognition of like the power of your prayer and the power of you crying or being innocent or being transparent about your feelings this is also bringing me back to pile number one so you might want to listen to that book pile number one wow the next card to come through is she's ripe in the color red so this is very much root chakra but we also see butterflies and trans transformation here she also has bows and arrow like a bow and an arrow this is lalita the red goddess playfulness is a spiritual power laughter leads me back to light so the fact that this energy, this feminine essence is coming through and absorbing some of your frustration, your heartache, your suffering, even from childhood, makes it easier for you to play. And it makes it easier for you to create if that's what you feel called to do. I'm also seeing that some of you guys, if you started venturing off in a new hobby, they're really encouraging this or they're also encouraging creation. Next card you have here is love. It's not about finding love. You are love itself. Help me, Lord, to send so much compassion and caring to the inner child that I always remember I myself am love. And then you have here challenges. Unbearable situations throw you directly into God's arms if you are open. Please take over, divine, and guide the right actions. Please take this burden and show me your will. That's kind of crazy because that's, truthfully, that's really what it is that I'm seeing is an energy here, like a feminine, like, or a goddess coming through and absorbing, or if this is God, this is the feminine aspect of God coming through and absorbing, absorbing your pain. This is when mother, like unconditional mother energy says, if I could take the pain from you or off of you, I would. But this is, this person, this energy, this entity, this Arisha, this goddess actually has the capacity to do that and is stepping forward to make it happen, to actually call it into play. If anything, the, um, the uplifting message that is that I'm hearing right now is that if you have had any type of heartache, disappointment, sadness, frustration, doubt, you are in a position right now to pass it over to something to, to God or goddess. And in that, the uplifting message is you get to play. Now you get to play. Now you get to create. Now this is what you get to manifest and you get to enjoy it. Hmm. I just heard that um, someone here, make a little bit more time for you to factor in things that uplift you. I am also hearing from this goddess, this feminine goddess, uh, if you're watching things or absorbing information that continues to bring you down, it's time for an energy 
a reset because the more that this this got this orisha or this goddess is absorbing pain it they don't want you to be replenishing <laughs> They don't want you to be replenishing what they've absorbed and they can only take on so much just as much as you can only take on so much. So try to um, watch what you are absorbing here. Watch what you're absorbing. I believe in the extended message, we are going to dive into specific message directly from this female Orisha or this female goddess. Um, the extended message will be down below. I'm going to go ahead and dive into that. And I actually feel called, I think, to work with the Muse Tarot as well as the Zombie Tarot to look at what is specifically being absorbed here. Actually, no. We're going to look into messages directly from this Orisha or this goddess, this feminine go goddess or Mother Mary or even Archangel Raphael and see what, what, what this is looking like and what this what is going on here as far as what they're absorbing and what it's and also creation and any specific message directly from them that's going to be the in, in the extended for everyone else thank you for allowing me to shuffle and pull for you it is truly a blessing i don't overlook that I, it really is a blessing to be able to have your energy contributing here to the collective so that i can pull for you and others who are very similar to you i said that in pile number one but i mean it um, if this is where we say goodbye, thank you. Please feel free before you go to give this video a thumbs up, a like. It's free for you to do that and it pours back into my YouTube channel so I can continue to show up for you guys in this way. The Apothecary Sacred Circle Tarot School will reopen. Keep your eyes open for those notifications. You can sign up for the email newsletter at BahadiLife.com. And for those of you guys that are not subscribed but would consider being a part of my family here and this beautiful energy that we have, this collective energy, do consider subscribing. If not, it was an honor as a blessing, and I do hope that our paths cross in the future. Thank you for allowing me to shuffle and pull for you. I'm sending the intention that you are protected. You are protected. And for those of you guys that are meeting, that I will be meeting in the extended, let's go ahead and head that way now. I'm going to pull up this beautiful Lalita goddess energy here and the Archangel root right next to my High John the Conqueror root. It's like literally the polar opposite energy here, but very, very powerful, the two of them. Um, and for those of you guys that are not meeting in the extended and might be m moving on to pile number three, I will meet you at your timestamps. All right, my loves, if you chose this shell, this is your message. Oh, I knew it. Okay, these cards definitely want to jump out. That's what I was going to say next is um, I didn't, usually I live shuffle with the tarot, but today I pre-shuffled and pulled them out, but I haven't seen these cards yet. So the first card we have here is the King of Wands holding a salamander. Oh my goodness, you know what I just heard? I heard what gives. What gives? What gives? Two of Wands reversed. Nine of Swords. You know what I'm hearing? I'm also hearing the Spice Girl song. I'm giving you everything. All the joy can bring. Yes, I swear. Yes, I swear. And all that I want from you is the promise you will be there. Say you will be there. Last time that we had this conversation... Whoa, okay, the reason why I was going on so far with that, because I feel like the lyrics really apply. If you could, Google the lyrics. I keep hearing, um, sorry, I'm like hearing the song and I'm <laughs> like listening to it. There's something about the lyrics. Actually, I'm going to Google it. Last time that we had this conversation, I decided we should be friends, but now we're going around in circles. Tell me, will this deja vu ever end? And now you're telling me telling me that you're falling in love? Well, I never ever thought that would be. This time, you gotta take it easy. You're throwing far too much emotions at me. 
that any fool can say that they're falling, I gotta make you understand. If you put two and two together, you will see what our friendship is for. If you can't work this equation, then I guess I'll have to show you the door. There is no need to say you love me. It would be le better left unsaid. I'm giving you everything all the joy can bring that I swear. This I swear and all that I want from you is a promise for you to be there. Listen, it's real interesting because two of wands is here reversed. And this is the fear that something or someone isn't going to show up or isn't going to be present or isn't going to. This could be a relationship, of course, with King of Wands. He's putting out an offering of something. And then also, it's interesting, he's holding the tiny salamander and then this person is slaying the dragon. Salamanders are always known as like the fire dragon. And here she is literally trying to slay the fire dragon, or this person is trying to fight, slay the fire dragon. So there's something here about partnership. Uh, the message that it is that I'm hearing right now is a promise, like an actual promise. Of, whoa, I just heard the fulfillment of the promise, fulfillment of a promise. If I say I'm going to be there, I'm going to be there. I'm even hearing the word reliability and consistency. You can count on me. I want to flip over these other cards because that has layers to it. Ma Mary Magdalene, wow. She actually came through in another reading. I forget which one it was, but she says, I'm the bridge between heaven and earth. I am fully human and fully divine. Wow. 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 Hmm. I'm just, sorry guys, I'm like absorbing this right now. That's my chair. The next card you have here is the health card. Allow me divine to be tender and accepting of my body no matter what ailments I have. May I always know it's doing the best that it can. Help me be a loving ally and friend to this sacred form. The next card here you have is change. Don't scare yourself with the next 40 steps. All you need is that one next action. You can say to love, just show me the first step and change me into the one who can take it. Then you have the card intention. Intention is simply allowing the will and the mind to align and move in harmony. May I always focus on the highest. My intention is that all God's wishes for me come true. And then you have toadstool. Wow. Self-discovery and awakening. I want to tell you that this pile here, you're, you're really being called. It's like you're in the midst of incredible transformation and change for you. And I feel that you have a, con and this is for your highest and greatest good, by the way. Like this is for you, not in fact, not factoring anyone else. This is change that is for you. And I feel like in all of this, you might have a fear that, that things will be pulled away from you if you are not the person that you always were, that you once were. You have a fear of this change. like a subconscious fear. I, I want to tell you that your uplifting message or what your angels and your guides want you to know right now is that some changes are necessary and don't involve others. They involve what's in your best interest. They involve, they are just solely for you. And your uplifting message is that the divine is focused on you. Why is that uplifting? Because you may be someone who's so accustomed to sharing with others that you might share, like you might be so, that your relation, okay, you might be someone who's so accustomed to sharing that what you need to know and what you need to feel right now and what is going to uplift you is that the, the divine loves that that is your heart is to share and to be of service or to show up, but the divine chooses you. The divine prioritizes you. The divine prioritizes every single one of us. The universe takes care of every single one of us. And the uplifting message is that the universe is taking care of you right now. The universe says it's time for us to take care of you. That is my intention is to take care of you. That is my goal is to take care of you. Not for you to take care of yourself and you're taking care of all these other people. My intention is to take care of you.
I'm um, the uplifting message is the fact that you're being put first. Wow. Some of you guys feel like you don't even know what that looks like is to be put first, but you are today, tomorrow, the day to come, you're being put first. And this is what is going to be your awakening is how much the universe is actually looking out for you, how much the universe is conspiring for you in your favor. That's there's some things that you you really do might you really might be someone who will not share your baggages. You might be so accustomed to being your own greatest advocate or showing up for others or being strong for others. But your message right now is that we're showing up for you. Like we we're just showing up for you. Wow. When I'm reading, help me be a loving ally and friend to this sacred form and just show me the first step and change me into the one who can take it. Like, don't scare yourself with the next 40 steps. All you need is that one next action. The intention is simply allowing the will and the mind to align. The, the blessing here is peace. The blessing here is completion of this need and this desire to show up and give so much of yourself or to extend extend yourself or to be overlooked to be undercompensated i just feel like there's something here that's a promise that's coming directly to you what this is is going to be different it's going to be individual per it's going to be tailored to the individual per person you know Wow. You know what I just heard? I heard um, someone say, who am I becoming? Someone is not asking that question or doesn't know how to ask that question. Who am I becoming? What will that look like? That's actually what we are going to dive into in the extended. Who am I becoming? But the uplifting message and the thing to look forward is that the universe is putting you first. And any type of changes that are revolving around you now to make that where you're the number one priority, try to trust that. Try to lean into that. I'm also seeing that for some of you guys, I'm seeing a, a white candle or a pale blue candle being lit at the altar or being lit with intention in order to help you to envelope yourself or wrap yourself up in this energy like you literally put yourself in a little envelope and you lick and seal the, the clothes so that you just you that this is something that doesn't get broken like the reason why I say that is because um, when I write petitions and when I do if I'm writing down my intentions through petitions I oftentimes put it in an envelope and I lick the seal or peel off the stick at the top of it and seal the envelope and it stays that way. I'll never break the seal. I feel like this is the intention, the petition that, is that you're writing is that the universe is putting you first and prioritizing you and that that doesn't get broken. That's going to be the intention. It's going to be prioritizing your your overall well-being. Wow. I'm actually going to go ahead and break into the extended message and I want to I really want to dive into who am I becoming or who am I who am I to become? What does spirit see? Um but for everyone else, if we're saying goodbye now, I do want to encourage you to get that candle, the white candle or pale blue. If I was going to recommend something for my apothecary, which doesn't open up until November 11th, but I would actually do the deep waters. I would do the deep waters fixed, and I would do the Pluto death oil, believe it or not, and and or I would do the all healing, the all healing oil. Mm, 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 mm. Yes. Um, if you're not if that's not something that's a vibe for you, the um, or you, you don't have it because you didn't have it on stock from the apothecary, 
Um, I don't share my recipes, but I would encourage you to get like, you go to the dollar store easily and get those white small candles. They're like this big. Um, or a light blue candle, and I would write your petition, I would put it in an envelope, and I would ask the universe to put me first. Not me, but put you first. <laughs> you get it. I also feel like sacred geometry is going to be a thing for you. Look into sacred geometry and try to incorporate. When you write that petition, make sure that you tuck uh, the sacred geometry of your choice, a printout of that in the petition, fold it towards you, lick the lick and seal or seal the envelope and put it at the altar or put it in a garden space or somewhere where it won't be disturbed. Now I'm going to move in onto the extended. Who am I becoming is the question of focus here. And I'm going to put Mary Magdalene here so I can look at her and also the toadstool. And uh, for those of you guys that are saying goodbye, thank you for allowing me to shuffle and pull for you. And for those who I'm meeting in the extended, I will talk to you very soon. Please give this video a thumbs up to show support and to pour back. And feel free to subscribe if you aren't already.